Hi. Today, I am going to present a very interesting topic for all those people who are doing bachelor or master's in bioinformatics, systems biology, or biotechnology, or any related field, biological fields, or computer science people also. And that is bioinformatics jobs, because everyone is looking for job, better job. So you need to know what are the best uh, field and where you can get better job based on your expertise and eligibility. So there are a number of jobs and especially bioinformatics and data science are leading globally in Western countries, in India, in China, and of course, in the Gulf countries. So this will be very interesting to listen the entire videos. And then you will be aware what are the different fields and what are their requirements and how much salary you are going to earn if you are working in this field. So first thing you need to understand opportunities for high paying and rewarding bioinformatics carriers are growing. According to the American Bureau of Labor Statistics, jobs in computer based analysis are projected to grow 23% by 2032, which is more than seven times the national average job. With the healthcare, pharmaceutical, biotechnology fields leading the fields, other fields are where bioinformatics skills play crucial roles, such as microscopy, geology, and wildlife biology are also projected to keep pace with the national average. But the prospects for bioinformatics carriers extend beyond a handful of job titles. Bioinformatics is the intersection, is at the intersection of computer programming, big data, and biology. And that is why sometimes it is also said as when biology computer meets biology via mathematics anything that happens in biology in the future will have some components of bioinformatics in it where you can go with a bachelor or master's degree and of course with a phd degree due to the growing influence of bioinformatics on various industries there are ample opportunities for those looking to pursue diverse careers in bioinformatics. To reap the benefits of the industry, it is important to learn the day, learn it day to day, the responsibilities and the most important skills for these common bioinformatics jobs. Now, you need to know the or you need to understand how a bioinformatician in general thinks who are working or deeply involved in this field. So they generally look for some kind of experimental data generated and placed at some kind of publicly available databases. Then you develop some kind of models for evaluating and testing. And then you go for model production. And finally, you think for the hypothesis generated, or you can conclude your own hypothesis. So what you do is basically you perform some kind of research work and then update it by experimental data and go for planning and then final simulations. So what are the requirements in general if you want to work as a core bioinformatician? Then it is biology, mathematics, chemistry, computers, programming, physics background, engineer. But this is just you need to have the good knowledge until your school level only. So what you need to know or what you need to be familiar is basically the 
background of the domain or the field where you are going to work. And that is the only thing what you need. Otherwise, you need to have the basic and good knowledge of your school work or science at a school level. Now, what are the career paths for bioinformatics? So generally, a bioinformatics specialist is responsible for managing, analyzing large data sets of genomics, proteomics, or something else. The setting where the data analysis takes place can vary from minor variation to bigger variation. In the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries, it is highly demanding that they need bioinformatics, where they typically involves exploring the human genome proteomes to detect how the drugs may impact certain proteins within the human body. And work often happens in a laboratory setting. So you are coordinating and then working with the experimental people. In biology and geology, the analysis focuses on animal and plants, genomes, terrestrial data, such as elevation and water availability, with an overall focus on environmental science. So bioinformatics engineers may work in a lab or out in the field. In academia, bioinformatics carriers are related to the experiments that may not have an immediate commercial benefits, but could be focused or could be used to drive future investigations in the medical or biological research. So if you want to think as a layout, then there are something, let's say, you can work as a bioinformatician in agri-genomes or data science, as a bioinformatician, clinical bioinformatician, pharmaceutical bioinformatician, computational genomics specialist, or bioinformatics software developer, proteomics bioinformatician, systems biology, core developer, bioinformatics specialist in synthetic biology, and of course, you can work as a tutor also. Now, what are the skills and responsibilities to start as a bioinformatics career? If you want to learn the deep, I have two channels where I have uploaded hundreds of videos on the bioinformatics for all and change by science also. So the long videos now I am segregating and uploading most of the long videos at Change by Science channel. But the uh, mixed videos, long sorts, are uploaded at the former channel that is Bioinformics for All. So the key responsibilities and key skills, you need to think about the Linux or Unix platform you need to think about minimum one of the coding platform. For example, R, Python, Perl, or MATLAB. Uh, and then you also need to be fully aware of the biological databases. So this is where you can, you will always need to retrieve the data from the biological databases there are two kinds of databases one is where you can find all the reference genomes and annotation files and another is where you can find the data generated for different types of human disease or many more types of things so you need to understand how to oversee a laboratory information how to manage them how to design the strategies for DNA, RNA, and protein sequence or a structure analysis, how to develop the algorithms to support the next generation sequencing data, conduct the qualitative as well as quantitative analysis for biological images, images, evaluate the drug candidates for their values as targeted therapies, assist in developing more efficient methods for food production, 
develop systems for analyzing the terrain using remote sensor data, create data visualization,